What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the lab with another quest build. I'm bringing you guys a rare build name that we've only seen on previous versions of 2K, and I finally found it on 2K21 Next Gen. It has shades of Rafe of Friends, Vlade Divac, and Darko Milicic. I'm talking about the Point Center build. This thing has a pretty decent floor. Uh, can play defense, can make plays, but it doesn't have a very high ceiling due to the deficiencies in the finishing and shooting department. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make that build on 2K21 next gen with this very rare name. It's the only one of, I've seen of its kind. So follow along to a T because if you change any little thing, it might change the name. And I'll try to go over those and cover those throughout the attributes. But you're going to make it at center. It will be six foot nine. Uh, I went 231 pounds for the weight with a 7 foot 3 wingspan and do whatever you want for the body shape. Your close shot, you're going to get to a 69. Driving layup, 69. Driving dunk, you can actually get to a 70 without changing the name. But if you go higher than that, it becomes a slashing playmaker, which is the same thing with all the other attributes and finishing. You're going to get everything to a 69 except driving dunk. And you might even be able to get post control over 69, but the way the attributes work out, this is what we're going to do. It's going to give you four finishing badges. Again, not the greatest, but you're going to be pretty perimeter oriented and ball dominant on the outside. So, you know, four finishing, not the greatest, but it is what it is. You're going to get your mid-range to a 71. You can't go higher than that. Again, if you guys use this blueprint and want to tinker with this in the builder, uh, by all means, try to switch some attributes around. But, you know, it's very delicate, especially with this build, because it's, I don't want to say it's trash, <laughs> but it's not the, there's not a lot of tinge. So you're going to get your three ball to a 69. Can't go higher than that, or it becomes like a stretch. Um, and then like a stretch playmaker. But you can get your free throw maxed out to a 94, but then you drop that down to a 91, and then that'll give you the 10 shooting badges. So again, I'm trying to make this build competitive and ooze out the potential uh, to keep this name point center. But as you can see on the Atch, uh, offensively, it is somewhat limited. So this is gonna be an interesting build uh, if anyone decides to actually cook this up. Um, Playmaking wise, you're gonna get your pass actually to a 79. And then max out your ball handle and speed with ball 72 and 70. This this build can actually handle the pill. Uh, you can't get your pass actually over 79 or it becomes a playmaking 5, I do believe. Um, which, you know, point center is so much rarer of a name than playmaking 5. But obviously, if, if you're not hunting for this name, you're never going to make this build outright. But your ball handle and speed with ball 70 plus is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's got a little flavor of Ben Simmons in it. Because it's going to be 6'9 tall, that can handle the pill. With 17 playmaking badges, you can actually dime your friends up and the people you play with. So if you have a squad, you guys are trying to come out with super rare RBCs, this is a hot build in that regard. Defensively, it is not a slouch either. You're going to get your interior defense to a 70, max out your perimeter D and your steelies, which, you know, once you hit a certain level, you're going to be able to get clamps on this badge which is going to be able to guard perimeter players uh, when you switch off um, pick and rolls and whatnot. Your block, you're going to get to an 88, which if you go higher than that, it can turn into the name Rim Protector, which is kind of generic, not what we're really looking for. You're going to get your defense rebounds to a 91, and then that's going to give you 17 defensive badges. This is a pretty good defensive build, like straight up. This actually can guard a lot of builds on this game. You can rebound, you can block shots, you can guard inside and out, have a high steely. You get a plethora of badges, you know, all the ones necessary to make a direct impact on defense. So if there is one thing that ha this build has going for it, it is a playmaking defender through and through. And if you're looking for an RBC name, this is super hot. We're going to max out the speed, acceleration, get your strength and vertical to a 70 which is uh, plenty in my opinion. And then you're gonna re uh, put the rest on stamina. You're gonna get that 85. So let's look at this real quick. Four finishing, 10 shooting. A lot of people uh, like on this game, why would you ever make a build that has 14 badges total on the offensive end like that, scoring the pill? And uh, you know, it's it's not super duper 
strong, but if you play a different style, a throwback Bill Walton kind of play, and you're an old head, uh, you want to play just an old-fashioned brand of basketball, no dribbles, five passes before someone can get a shot up. You know, this is a hot build, low-key, 17 playmaking, 17 defense. You know, if if you didn't want, like, a paint defender or something um, and you wanted a specific RBC name that can make plays and play defense, uh, this build can definitely do those two things. Again, very limited on offense besides passing and playmaking, but very nice on the defensive end and creating for your teammates. The takeovers is actually pretty nice. You have playmaking, outside defense, inside defense, and then rebounding. Um, I think a nice tinge would maybe be like stuff blocks and extreme clamps or something or enhanced jump shots. That could be an ultimate defender. Or if you're playing that old school 1960s, you know, black and white basketball, you can go team ratings boost and then team takeover boost, and all of a sudden you have the ultimate playmaker on your squad um, for those of you who really want to make your team better. And that's going to make the point center. Um, I don't know how dominant this build will be. Again, I've stressed that throughout this video, but we're going to put this in the test builder at a 90 plus to see what it actually can do, how it moves, if it can play in this era of basketball. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this RBC point center. Let me know down in the comments if you guys like this build or if it is straight garbage. You know, we'll see, but you know what time it is. Quest Barrow.